Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will see how we can create a fill slider or any fill uh, thermometer or anything like in lab view that will change its color when you will just increase or decrease its limit. Like now, if I will just decrease the thermometer value um, less than 40, then its color changes, and then again. Uh, less than 25 it color again changes and less than zero it color again changes similarly we if we change the color of our numeric control then its text and its background color also changes so right now if i change its value at some point its color of its text and background changes so how we can do this in lab view so first open the front panel uh, sorry vi and let's just uh, place the controls let's just place the numeric control and also let's just place a thermometer in here and now we want to change the color of any thermometer or uh, some slider let's say if we have a vertical slider of or anything let's just say i will just change the color of this thermometer or the numeric so i'll just go on to the block diagram and let's say right now what i wanted to do is i want to change the color of this numeric basically so i will just change its representation to i8 that means it will be an integer not the um, some uh, fractional number anymore so i'll just place a case structure in here and i'll just connect it with my case structure right now the default is zero and any default value and then it has one so what we want to do is we can just create each property node of changing its colors so I, I will just go on to its numeric text and i will just put text colors and then i will just select its background color so i will just change it to right and then i will just add an element and the next element is text background color text background color i will just change its text background color to text color so i have two options in here text background color and text color so now i will set the limits in here so our first limit is let's say uh, 25 and then our next limit is add limit uh, add case after and the next limit is 26 to 50 and similarly i can just add another case in which i'll just say my limit is 51 to 75 and then similarly uh, add case after which is 64, uh, 76 to 100 so right now what i can do is if i just go on to uh, my default settings then i'll just create a constant of color in here similarly constant of color in here and put those colors inside of my case structure so text background color for my default is black and its text color is white and similarly i can just create a constant of color in here that will show um, some other colors right now let's say my other color is i can set these colors similarly for this color this case and uh, let's say this one is red and this one is blue and then similarly i can just create as many cases as i want and for this I can just create a color constant of say red and for the last one again I'll just select the uh, color as um, pink or purple and then create a constant or select a color of orange and similarly now what I wanted is I want to change the color of my thermometer basically so i'll just change it to control and now again what i want is i want to set the uh, set its color right now as you can see that's how we can just change 
uh, its colors so I don't want to again create another key structure and set the limits so I will use the same limit by just pressing control and left click and I will just create a copy of it and then I cannot just connect it directly with my uh, I can just connect it directly with to my um, key structure and now what I will need is I will create a property node of let's say fill color I'll just change it to right change to right and now I will just create a colors I can just delete one color in here from every section like this one and then at the end we have in here only one color for its sliding value so I can just connect it in here I can place that within the while loop so that that will uh, run in the form of continuous uh, iterations so I'll just give it a delay of let's say 500 milliseconds now if I go to my block diagram and run the program right now for the zero it is giving me some other value and uh, as soon as it is increasing from certain limits its color is being changed so similarly as you can see the color is set for this one as well so as you can see that's how you can just create or change the colors of your slider of your numeric control or anything